J. Um, T T Harry. <laughs> she didn't know who the fuck she was. I'm <laughs> gonna talk about being a ratchet, and no, we're ratcheting and reacting. Okay. Ratcheting. <laughs> yeah. Ratcheting. Ratchet. 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 Ratcheting. And reacting. So, like, comment, share, subscribe, and get to our tatas for Titi's Fund. We back with another reaction video. Let's go, let's go, let's go, right now. Every 37 seconds, someone is arrested for possession of marijuana. Since 2010, state and local police have arrested an estimated 7.3 million Americans for violating marijuana laws, over half of all drug arrests. Black people are four times more likely to be arrested for marijuana laws than white people. States waste $3.7 billion enforcing marijuana laws every year. Most of the people police are arresting aren't dealers, but rather people with small amounts of pot just like me. I'm Gary Chambers and I'm running for the U.S. Senate and I approve this message. Okay! I'm voting for that nigga. Can I vote for him? Right. What's Do that we, right? I'm gonna go there just to vote for you. How I vote for the Senate? Is that bad that I don't know that? I'm sorry. I didn't vote for the Senate before. I didn't know who the fuck they were. They wasn't fancy like him. Man. They sure wasn't smoking a blunt. This is how you get the vote, people. I, I know some people gonna be mad. Not the people who watch us. But somebody is gonna get mad about this. And guess what I tell them? Fuck off. Okay? <coughs> Loosen up! <laughs> the reason why you like people like that is because he's not angry. The people that smoke weed, they are not angry people. When have you ever heard someone say, man, he just whipped my ass because I have been smoking weed. That's not what yeah, happens. No. It's not what, what happens. What you end up doing, okay, by getting the vote, by using marijuana laws for the good, is happier people working for you and in the community. Mm -hmm. Nothing's wrong with either of these things. Not at all. That's what we need. Too we bad need more we don't have a blunt right now just to blaze. Uh, just blaze. In his honor. I don't even know his name, but I'll watch it again and put it in the comments. You guys can vote for him. <laughs> On to the next one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoopsies. It oh. didn't work. It, it started and then it didn't. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to make it do. I just had it. What the whole? Okay, we're going to try this one more time. Lego. <laughs> no. I try to say this as delicately as I possibly can, but money is quite literally the only thing a lot of cishet men bring to the table. No, because really think about it. Most of you guys can't stay faithful. Most of you don't possess emotional intelligence, so women are left doing the emotional labor in the relationship. Most of y'all don't carry your weight when it comes to the housework or the children. And most of you guys can't satisfy women sexually, which means the bulk of your value stems from how much money you make. On top of that, a lot of cishet men don't even like women, so why are we acting like this isn't a two-way street? The same way women will enter relationships with men solely for money is the same way in which men enter relationships with women for consistent sex. Women don't seek out men with money because we're just manipulative users by nature. It's because we see through men and we know that if we attach ourselves to someone who barely sees us as a person, we may as well be getting something out of it. <coughs> I don't agree with anything that I'm, she's saying. I'm just like, okay. I'm tired of the equation of sex and money being equal if nobody wants to admit to being a hoe. <laughs> oh, that part. I just, it's not equal. Relax. Your pussy is not that great, ma'am. If it was, <laughs> then perhaps that, um, I don't know, you would have more men lining up at your door with things other than money. Ooh. Um, step your pussy up. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> just, just step yeah. your pussy up. Yeah, but I'm also going to say, um, don't be so high and mighty, sis, because I'm sure that she probably fucked up a plethora of times, okay? And just because you can use great sentences and pronunciate your words doesn't mean that you have indeed not fucked up. So. And the emotional intelligence thing is men have emotional intelligence. Men aren't allowed. Mm to have emotional stake in relationships because women have so many emotions that it tends to overpower the relationship anyway. So if you, woman, are giving all of you into the relationship 
all your emotions, all your feelings, how is there space for him to bring anything other than his dick and money? Mm. Again, step your pussy up. Period. Out of here. Okay. <laughs> oh, if we, are we rolling? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm coming in hot. Okay, we go. It's the next one. It's the next one. Yeah, 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 it's the Listen, the baby is out here pouring water and kicking ass at bowling alleys. All the time. This nigga is a killer on the loose and y'all keep fucking with him. And I can't say nothing. The baby daddy wins again. That's not shit. Man. Where's Danny Lay's music? Fuck! <laughs> City Boy is up. God damn it again. I ain't got nothing. Shit! Okay. Now remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that shit. Till next time, keep uh. that shit ratchet. Period. Peace.